<clears throat> yeah, what's up, YouTube? It's Tino Fan 1989. This is gonna be my first time doing a video spinning that, and I'm happy to do this video. Video response is my. This is an interesting one too. What are my three favorite years of wrestling, of pro wrestling? Wow, spinning that, he got us there. So my three favorite years: number one, 1996. Well, yep, 1996, because WCW and the NWO has made a debut when Hogan turned heel, and from there, you know, WCW is like the year that I started watching wrestling in 95, 96, and WCW was there, and all of a sudden, the whole Hogan turning heel was shocking. And for watching that video, for watching that uh, match, that um, the whole segment, Hogan turning heel, and then he turned himself to Macho Man, and he turned he turned his back to Mach Macho Man and um, Sting. He he was with Nash and Hall, which they were the guys from the other side, you know, the outsiders, and. Supposedly the outsiders were like the guys from the WWF. That's where her name, the outsiders. Then Hogan joined those those two outs the, the outsiders. But then Hogan renamed that, that group the three the three stable as the NWO. The New World Order. Well he called it beginning the first time he called it a New World Organization. And from there, you know, that's what that was like my favorite year watching WCW when WWF was downhill that year. WCW was like right there, and the Cruiserweight division was like, oh my god, it was god, it's like my god, almighty. It was great, you know, Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Dean Malenko, great matches, and I enjoyed watching Dean Malenko and Mick Foley having matches back and forth. And you know, I like I like Dean Malenko and Rey Mysterio. Well, I was always going for, you know, Rey Mysterio Jr., even though Kim has my favorite cruiserweight. But the Malenko was, wow, amazing. All right, my second favorite year, pro wrestling, 1999. Yep, I like 1999 with the WWF, with the corporate ministry. And The Rock was the um, feuding with Triple H. And the whole torturing of um, Stephanie McMahon. And... The whole drama with the um, the McMahon turning in the segment that he became Mr. McMahon. It's me. The merger was Mr. McMahon. And Mr. McMahon was in the co turned himself to the corporate ministry McMahon. And it was great, you know, watching the WWF in 1999 when he turned himself heel once again. Which he was the Mr. McMahon gimmick, which it was the devil of him, the devil side of him. Vince McMahon, you're like, man, it's me, Austin, it's me all along, and wow, from there, I was watching that shit, I was like, oh my gosh, couldn't believe Vince McMahon did that, but it was obvious, though, it was obvious, but wow, it was unexpected, though, and another thing, the whole, the first SmackDown, oh yeah, in that year, the first SmackDown aired in August of 1999 and from there you know the match with The Rock and Triple H which the special guest referee was Triple H uh, no excuse me Shawn Michaels was a special guest referee and all of a sudden The Rock was doing the people's album and then out of nowhere he was running the ropes Shawn Michaels did a switch in music and Triple H gave him that, that win the pedigree and became the WWF and kept the WWF title in another segment I like from the WWF in 99 when Chris Jericho make his, de his WWF debut along with The Rock talking trash saying he's Chris Jericho and it doesn't matter what his name is and you know talking back and forth talking trash between The Rock and Jericho they had great chemistry on their on their promos I like The Rock and Jericho when they do their promos back to back you know back and forth I just love it it's golden and that's 1999 right there and another segment I like with the Triple H, but man, um, angle, like that one, 
when Triple H supposedly got married with Stephanie and it was supposed to be Tess, but Triple H took her intoxicated, was asleep, and bought her an engagement ring, a marriage ring, and then all of a sudden, Armageddon 99 was Vince McMahon versus uh, Triple H. Triple H won that match because Stephanie McMahon got the, st uh, the sledgehammer and gave it, handed it over to Triple H and picked up that victory. And Stephanie McMahon, she turned heel. She was daddy's little girl. But daddy's little girl became a big bad girl. So that was the year of 99. And my third favorite year is 2000. Wow, that, you got me there. 2000, either 2003. Or 2002 so I give it 2003 you know why Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar which it was a great great match it was epic and when they had fused against each other it was like wow even though the hell in a, the, the uh, Iron Man match the 60 minute Iron Man match on Smackdown was it was a first and it could be the only, I think the only um, Iron Man match on SmackDown. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar. And, you know, from there I was watching it and I loved it. I loved every chance on the 2003 SmackDown with Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar had a feud. And it was great. I just love, I just love that, that feud. And John Cena was the, the, the word life wearing throwback jerseys and... Talking trash and Mike rapping, freestyling, doing his thing. That's when I like Cena. And Eric Bischoff was running Raw. The Elimination Chamber was in 02 though, but 2003, you know, it was, you know, he put up a lot of good matches on Raw. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it was crazy. The Evolution. It was, you know, right there. You know, I loved that year in 2003. So those are the top three favorite years I like, 1996, 1999, and 2003. So those are the three years I like. I hope you enjoyed this video, SpinnerNet1. That's all I got to say. It's a video response to you, SpinnerNet. And I, I, I hope I get a feedback from you. Uh, give you a shout out. It's my video, my first video response to you. Hope you, you accept it. It's all good, and you know I like your videos, grade A videos. I got nothing against you. I like I like your videos. That's the reason why I started doing YouTube videos, because watching your videos made me want to do videos on YouTube about the wrestling community. And guys, I'm out of here. Tomorrow is my birthday, and I'm out. Later.